Now that we have our job card created, we're now going to add some labor. We're going to add some parts. And we're going to look at some of the functionality on the left hand side of the job card, some of the functions here. So we can print a job card, very straightforward. If you want to just print a job card, instead of seeing it on the app. So the instructions, what we put onto the job card, etc., are there. Uh, you can generate barcodes. Uh, you can see a sales margin report. We'll, we'll review that later on. Uh, you can print a parts list. You can add notes, private notes to the job. Scan documents will be an important section because that's where we store our inspection or any other documents that you want to scan in. You can assign a job. So this is in terms of assigning a job to a technician. So that can be done here or it can also be done from the, the our new planner, which we'll review later on. We can convert a job to a WAN. Uh, we'll cover that when we get to the work authorization section. We can delete a job card. We can change an invoicee. So currently we know that the invoicee is the breeding group, but we may want to change who that invoicee is. And also we can update the odometer from here or we can update it from uh, up here as well. So a couple of places where we, so that's the functionality on the left hand menu. Um, fairly straightforward, not difficult to uh, understand or to navigate to. Um, if you want to add labor, so there's two ways labor can end up on the job card. It can be added on manually or it can be added on uh, through the app. So in this case, I'm going to add labor. So I'm going to use the plus symbol. I'm going to select the labor type that I want. I'm going to select a technician. And in this case, I'm not going to put a start and an end time. I'm just going to add the number of errors that I wish to charge and what was used. And in this case, I'm going to use a repair code of cab. So I'm going to save that and exit. And you can see that I've very straightforward. I've added five hours of labor to that job, which has been billed out at 50 pounds per hour, which is a total of 250 pounds. So that's as simple as that to add labor to the job card. If I want to add parts, again, very simple, straightforward. Hit the plus symbol. I can add a part number or I can add it in by description. So if I select uh, um, one of the mirrors and from here I can give in a quantity, it'll display the cost price and sell price and I can either add another part or I can save and close. So simple as that to add a part, add a labor and cover the, we cover the left hand side menu. So the next job or the next uh, video what we'll do is review the parts warranty and how to do an overview of the job card.